Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 6. Uh, it's been like a week since I've played, so I'm not 100% exactly where. Oh yeah, we did the um, puzzle, didn't we, involving the portraits. Yes, you see, I remember things about stuff. Wasn't there like... Uh, hang on, let me just change my keyboard. Uh, right, cool. Um, no. Apparently there isn't. I'm sure there's like a spin all around here or something. Or a gem or a blue velvet. Ah. I see you. You sneaky little sausage hiding there up in the rafters. Okay, cool. We'll get that. Um, yeah, we just did the, the portrait puzzle thing where we have to hang people. Good, you know. Now, I know with IQ software, I can set up um, my keyboard to automatically change profiles when I launch a certain game. But to be honest, I've never found that actually works. But then, I haven't tried it for like four years. So. Ooh, we have burbs. Do we have any flash grenades? We don't. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. What have you got for me? Oh, daddy. Very nice. Right, let's have a little poke around here. Pretty sure we can't go the other way if memory serves. I think that's all locked. Um, What's through here? Oh, yep, yeah, locked from the other side. Oh, never mind, Leon. Looks like we're good. Oh, we're heading towards the maze now, aren't we? Oh, yes. What do we actually have? We've got a handful of shotgun shells. We've got... Uh, golden herb and well yellow herb I guess and a standard green herb oh oh also I appreciate I'm wasting valuable ammo on enemies that <laughs> shouldn't really be being killed but hey man you know Resident Evil damn it Oh, you bastard. If we had a flash grenade. Only we had a flash grenade. Not that we needed one for that lot. Oh, one didn't die. Plenty of jewels and gems. Yeah, to be fair, <clears throat> I'm kind of setting myself up anyway. Because at some point... Yeah, don't we have to, like... Throw a grenade through that room or something? Uh, there is a treasure there. It won't open. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. With help from... Yeah, yeah. We need to get Ashley in there, don't we? <laughs> oh, God. Wash that bad taste out of my mouth with coffee. Oh, God. Ah, okay. So, um, okay. Yeah, I've wasted a lot of ammo in this game. I know. But, hey. If you came for professionalism, you're in the wrong place. If you come to see some bumbling tit bounce through the game on the seat of his pants, you're in the right place. Okay. <clears throat> ah, wasn't there some gemmage up here too? No, but there is. Oh, wow. I didn't realize there's so many crows around here. But hey, let's go. The maze. Oh, God, the maze. The Amazing Maze, as ICP would have called it. Well, let's go. <clears throat> let's go see what fun and delights we have in store. It won't open. There's an indentation here. Two moons make one. Yes. Very nice. Well, I mean, you know, whoever's in charge of maintaining this place has done an admirable job. Yeah. Um, I suppose there are just some things you can't skip out on. Mr. Kennedy. Still alive, I see. So, do you like my garden? I see you've managed to work in a little of your twisted taste here, too. <laughs> Sagacious as I am, even I get lost here sometimes. Even if it takes your whole life, you'll never get out. Is that right? Do you know that no one dies without a cause? You will satisfy the stomachs of my cute pets. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tie up a few loose ends. Like chasing down a couple of rats. Mm. Two rats? If one's Lewis, who's the other? Huh. Who there could an intruder besides me? possibly be, Leon? Use all the power of your brain. Um, now. Now, now, now. So, I don't know why he bigs this maze up to be uh, as incredibly difficult as he actually does. Uh, it's more annoying than anything else. I've never been a huge fan of this maze, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure why. I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on exactly why I don't like this. You know, it is what it is. Oh, battle wows. I mean, the dogs kind of sucky enemies, to be fair. They take a lot of bullets. And they do sneak up on you. But, you know. It is what it is. And no matter how many times I do this maze. I could never really remember my way around. Sounds like the hounds have un been unleashed. Oh, they're in there. Cool. That's fine. Now. Oh, great. There is actually a little tip for that bit. Um, which I totally bungled. God, the spread on that shotgun. Oh, God. How can we? Nope. Okay, that was a really bad timing there. Yeah. Reload. Reload. Pretty sure if you shoot them in these tentacles, it does more damage. I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay. Good enough, I guess. Well, was it good enough? I mean, not really, but... It will suffice. We've got a little bit of health. Enough to get us by. And we've got a full load of shotgun shells here. Which, why not? Yeah, this shotgun is absolutely bloody useless, man. Like, unless you're point-blank range with it. It really doesn't do much of anything. Alright. I can hear you, Fido. We'll take that. We'll kick that down. Because fuck your gates. Quite frankly. Oh, hey, Fido. Can you, like, open up so I can get some tricks on you? Oh, God. They're behind me, too. Um, I mean, why wouldn't they be? Let's be fair. Uh, you know what? Can you not double up on... Really? Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll smoke both of those. Alright, Fido. Let's put you down. Point blank in the brain. To deal enough damage. Okay. Load up on some shells. Because shells are what's going to carry us through here. I think there's some Granados here later on as well. Let's just try and clear the maze. Ah, you fuck. Oh, come on, you fucked up. Now, if we had some cool weapons, what we actually could do here, we just shoot them through the holes in the cages. Ah, oh, fuck you, man. Seriously. Uh, we're in trouble here. Yeah, we're dead. We are dead. Oh, man. Where's that going to put us? Oh, right, of course. Oh. Yeah, we're going to struggle here. Pretty significantly, I think. Mainly due to the fact that these weapons just suck so much fucking penis. But, you know. Uh, if only we had a rifle or something. Just anything extra. Um, come on. Come on, Fido. Come on. Take your medicine. Yeah. I mean, out of pretty much all of the dogs uh, in the Resident Evil games, I never actually liked the dogs in Resident Evil 4. Or 5, for that matter. 
I don't know. I don't know why, to be a hundred percent honest with you. Now, I wonder. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you shoot that door; it's just going to come down. That's really unfortunate. So it doesn't matter if you shoot the padlock. Yeah, it doesn't matter about shooting the padlock at all, apparently. It's just if you shoot the door itself, that triggers them. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, it is where it is, I suppose. Right, uh, let's check out down here first. So we can go up and over here. Uh, jump down, yeah, that's the point. We need to do something here first. Now, I know we get attacked by a doggo when we get round here when we pick up what we want which is apparently shotgun shells here he comes oh two of them because one of them wouldn't be enough I guess I think it's their little bounce that they do uh, they're also very durable for dogs uh, the dogs were never that durable in Resident Evil yeah, a couple of bullets used to take them down. Um, in six, they're very durable. Apparently, ah, uh, six. In four, they're very durable. Was there dogs in six? I can't remember. Probably. There was that one enemy um, in six that I really did like. It was a dick. Yeah, I don't want to forget that. It was an absolute dick. It was that thing that you could shoot, but it would fall apart. But it would regenerate, and it was insanely difficult to kill. Yeah, I can't remember what that thing was called. All the uh, Resident Evil 6 enemies had impossible to pronounce um, names. I think they have Slavic names or something. I can't remember now. Impossible if you, you know, have a case of the tards like I do. Right, here we go. Here is one piece of the puzzle. Right half. I oh, thank you, thank you. Now, so we've done that one. So that is next on the agenda. I mean... Uh-oh. 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 Hey, Fido. Can we... Oh, great. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, fine. Uh... <sighs> Right, okay, let's chomps that. And I guess just why not use that? We've almost topped our health out now. Yeah, and because this gun, yeah. Maybe that would have been a, where the Punisher would have come in handy, actually. Just maybe, because it would have obviously done a little bit less damage, but it would have hit both of those enemies at the same time. So... I, mean, I can still hear Gribbly growling, so... Uh, yeah, we'll definitely take another herb. I mean, why not? Oh. Now. Oh, maybe we can just shoot through the bars there. Which I'm very much going to... Maybe it's a distance thing. I do remember there is some trick to this. Yeah, you can just see how many bullets these things take. It is kind of ridiculous. Come on. Yeah. Last bullet brought him down. Good. Good. Another herb. Look, I'm very grateful for all these herbs. I am, right? But ammo, too, yeah? Especially when your weapons are basically the equivalent of throwing dog shit at the enemy. Actually, probably not even that effective, to be honest. Worthless. Contextually speaking, worthless. Anyway. Okay, so what's in the shotgun? Five in the shotgun. Fifteen total handgun bullets. Cool. Cool. Got ya. Oh, as if by magic, a fucking dog, yeah, there's, oh, the aiming, the aiming on this mouse, sometimes a little quick flick of the wrist will move your, your fucking gun 
about a couple of inches across the screen. And other times you really have to drag it across the mouse mat. There's no consistency to the aiming whatsoever. It's fucking terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, hopefully that won't be an issue in the remake, of course. Because uh, I personally found the... See, the aiming like with Remake 2 and 3 on PC with mouse and keyboard, the aiming was perfect. Absolutely perfect. You did a fantastic job with it. Whereas this is, like, obviously, it feels like the game was never designed for mouse input, but they just kind of shoehorned it in, and they got it to a point where it said, nah, technically, it's playable, but not really ship it. Which is interesting when you consider the uh, Wii version, which apparently was really good. But I've got the Wii version, but I've never played it. Um, now, where were we? So, we've got one place left to scoot out. Where was it? I think we've got, like, most of the, the, the stuff. I think there's, like, hidden treasure here somewhere. Not that hidden, because it's on the map. Yeah, okay. Alright. So I think we need to go this way. Or was it the other other way? Yeah, this way. Up and over. Can't hear growling anymore, which is good. Means we've killed all the um, already spawned enemies. An F8 spray. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll take it. Definitely going to come in handy a little bit later on. Yep. You only have five bullets as well. Which is not great. But it... Oh, really? Ah, right. Going the wrong way. Because of course I'm going the wrong way. I always go the wrong way. It's kind of my thing. Ah, oh, this map. Well, the map's fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the map. It's the um, fucking maze. Really? So that's... Okay, so we actually want to go this way. Quite an effective maze, to be honest. You know. I mean, I still stand by the fact that Salazar massively oversells it. But, you know. He's just, you know, trying to validate his existence, I suppose. Uh, there we go. That'll do for now. And that is not what we want. We want the blue. Is it a blue or is it a purple one? I can't remember. Okay. Surprised we didn't get attacked. Grabbing that. Oh. Where is the last piece to the puzzle? Where are you? I think we need to go back to a... Ah, there, is that it? Or is it? No, that's the one we've already got, isn't it? Sure, that one is the one that we've already got. Yep, that's open. Alright, cool. Right, let's go back to the central point again so we can have a little look out. Or at least just anywhere. With a bit of elevation. So, that's what we need there. Where is that on the map? Okay. Got ya. Well, that was easy. Well, I'm stupid. I mean, you know that. Any oh, no, that's not... Like, it's not even worth taking that, to be honest. But we'll take it. We'll take it because we can. Ah, there we go. That's what we needed. Now this is going to probably unleash the hounds. Mr. Burns is sitting there in his castle. There we go. I would like to be shocked and jump, but, you know. Obvious jump scare is obvious. Really, dog? Fucking really? 
Yeah, it's time to take old Yeller out the back. Put the bastard down. Alright, we've got a handful more bullets, which is nice. Now, I can't remember if we get hounded all the way out of here. I think we do. But then we can just, you know, jump down here, I guess. So, you know. Right, done. Done and done, me laddos. Two moons make one. Yep. There we go. Oh, God, glad that's done. Ah, uh, now. Hello, lady in red. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Oh, Put Leon. Now. Very dramatic. Bit of advice. Try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You. Working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? <laughs> See you around. Ada! Yep, she's gone. Ada, wait. Yeah, we'll give it a save. Why not? So we should now be on 3 3. Lovely. Yeah, we're making some good uh, progress with this game, actually. Okay, cool. Um, now, let's go harvest this place up. And we should probably end it here as well. Is it raining outside now? No, it's... Oh, okay. I thought it was raining. I was like, I've never noticed that before. The reason you never noticed that before, Titan, is because it's not. Okay, I'm just saying. Yeah, so Ada's working with Wesker, apparently. I... Hello, my doorbell has just rung. Uh, one second. And we're back. Okay, cool. Uh, right. So I've got a lot of uh, computers to repair at the moment. So I've just invested in some anti-static gloves and they've just arrived. Okay, I mean, I don't care when I'm fucking around with my own stuff, but when you're doing it for other people. Um, especially as we have a very staticky carpet in this room. Um, now, what have we got here? Female intruder. There seems to be a female intruder among us. We believe she's connected with Sarah. We also believe that she was uh, the one who removed the egg injected into Sarah before it hatched. She may have had him retrieve the sample before the American agent arri uh, American agent's arrival. It's obvious that her objective is the sample. We must get her before she's able to re-establish uh, contact with Sarah. There's also reason to believe that she's working for somebody. We need her alive for interrogation. The female should be able to answer all of our questions. After we have captured her, Sarah will no longer be of any concern. As long as we retrieve the sample, you may have disposed of him how you see fit. Mm-hmm. All right, pal, I'll be seeing you in a little minute. Let me just harvest up the goodies, of which there are some significantly good goodies here. Is there a spin? Did we collect that gem? I'm sure there's a... A gem. I think we collected it before we were so rudely interrupted. Now, let's have a little look. Oh dear, look at this inventory. That's not good, is it? Uh, also, I've been playing Earthbound. I've heard a hell of a lot about Earthbound over the uh, last few years. Um, you know, everyone says it's this like legendary RPG, blah, 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 blah. blah. So it's finally come, uh, become available on the Switch. So, I thought I'd give it a go, and, oh man, <laughs> that game, ooh, yeah, 
Yeah, so that's to say, not disappointed. Uh, ooh, cat's trying to get in. Oi, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, just block the door off there. Yeah, uh, the the writing and the dialogue in that game is really fucking interesting. What a game. Uh, anyway, let's go sell all of our junk. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Should we, should we, should we have what a little look at it? see what he's selling? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Not sure whether that would have been a good idea to keep that or not. Um, hmm, hmm, I don't know. Oh, the riot gun. Oh, the riot gun. It's actually my favorite shotgun. The... Um, The striker's okay, but riot gun's better. I think the riot gun actually does more damage, I think. Uh, we're going to hold on to those. We're obviously going to hold on to those. We've got five of these. Aye. Aye. We're going to hold on to that. going to hold on to that. Right, so we can't actually upgrade that at all. So we can have that. And that is it. Oh, God. I do like the fact Resident Evil 8 allowed you to buy ammo. Not a lot of ammo, but, you know, it did help. Um, let's go. Ooh, it's spoopy in here. Very spoopy. Very grand as well. Very quiet. So we'll grab that. How many shells have we got now? Enough to load this thing up. Yeah, standard shotgun really ain't great at all. Unfortunately, it's just, it's the best that we have. Bread begins the meal of life. A desert, uh, a desert to cherish our remaining years. Ugh. Is there more of that rubbish around? No. It says here uh, somewhere, meet to savior the time, savor the time at hand. One last drink and the bottle breaks, returning us to the dust from whence we came. Ooh, could that be a clue? Is it a clue? Could be a clue. One last drink. Uh oh. Ah <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, we're going to go poke our heads around the corner. And we're going to need some ammo for this. Can... Oh, we can go through here. Yeah, we can do this now. Apparently. We've got some action-heavy stuff coming up, I think. Always double tap those boxes. Oh, some more shotgun shells. Definitely going to need all these shotgun shells. Oh dear. Maintenance crew haven't exactly been. Um. Oh god, double tap. What? Oof. Yeah, the maintenance crew haven't exactly been doing a stellar job in here, have they? What did I say? Double tap. I said double tap. I told you all to double tap. Ah, right. This just links around to the other room. That's cool. So, there ain't no action heavy bits here. Yeah, um, oh. Oh. Presents an interesting opportunity, doesn't it? Where is our friend? Ah, our friendly typewriter. Right, we're actually going to take advantage of this. I'm going to drop a safe here, guys. And when we come back. We're going to go into the room of death. That room. You know the one. <sighs> Till then, guys. Thanks for watching.